In the name of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, General Roman Rudenko presents counts three and four, charging that all the defendants committed war crimes in Germany and in all those countries occupied by Germany. The Nazi conspirators committed crimes against enemy armies, against prisoners of war, against the civilians of occupied lands. They believed in the barbaric doctrine of total war and considered themselves free from the restraints of international law or the established customs of war. Their ruthless policies were ordered in directives like this one from General Reinecke of the Wehrmacht's high command. The Bolshevist soldier has lost all claim to treatment as an honorable enemy combatant. Ruthless and drastic measures are to be taken at the least sign of resistance. Active or passive resistance must be broken immediately by force of arms. Prisoners attempting to escape are to be shot without warning. No warning shots are to be fired. More proof of this savage Nazi policy comes from the affidavit of Kurt Lindov, former Gestapo officer. There existed in the prisoner of war camps on the Eastern Front small screening teams headed by lower ranking members of the Gestapo. It was the duty of these teams to segregate the prisoners of war who were candidates for execution and to report them to the office of the Gestapo. And a letter from Defendant Rosenberg to Defendant Keitel in 1942 stated clearly, a large number of Soviet prisoners of war starved or died due to the harsh weather conditions. In many cases, prisoners on the march could not keep up due to hunger and exhaustion. In numerous camps, no shelter for the prisoners was provided at all. Nor were they given any sort of tools with which to dig holes or caves. Yet when some objected that this treatment violated the Geneva Convention, Defendant Keitel answered with this memorandum. We are dealing with the destruction of a world view. Therefore, I approve these measures and back them. The criminal treatment of prisoners of war was also practiced against civilian populations. This is proved by the testimony of General von Lahusen, who worked under Admiral Canaris in military intelligence. General Lahusen attended conferences where crimes against whole populations were plotted in advance by the Nazi conspirators. The prosecution asked Lahusen about one such conference on the Führer's train. Canaris sagte damals ungefähr wörtlich, für diese Methoden wird einmal die Welt, auch die Wehrmacht, unter deren Augen diese Dinge stattfinden, verantwortlich machen. 